Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in Part 1. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played Part 1 don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, come on. A little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? <laughs> Au contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Yes, of course. I... I, I um... Go ahead. Talk to me. Just point the cursor at me and left click as soon as the speech balloon icon appears. No prompting! Uh, talk to Bozo. You don't have to say that aloud. Hey, who's talking to you? Hello there. You clicked on me. Yeah, and I regret it already. But you see, there's nothing left here that you could teach me. You don't even know, um... How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? I point at it with my mouse cursor and right-click when the eye icon appears. Nonsense! That's not an eye. It's a ping-pong ball. With a pupil? Yeah, it's loaded. Why would they use a loaded ping-pong ball as an icon for the action examine? I'm about to demonstrate that using the small object lying on the ground over there by pointing the cursor at it and right-clicking as soon as the ping-pong ball appears. I'm holding my breath. What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head, believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Sure you can pick it up. Just point at it with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click to pick it up. Oh no, this has to be easier. <sighs> huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. You pick the thing up. Now use the mouse wheel to open the inventory. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. <laughs> it fits. Next you need to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. When you're ready, you need to... Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't! You're standing right under the- Don't panic! You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then... Didn't look all that feeble to me. They came out of nowhere with their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up. Contacted her fiancé. And took her to the Lower Ascension Station. Only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiancé, wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement. With Ulysses the mysterious leader of the Organon. 
and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Codes, hidden away in Gold's brain implant, and they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was Rufus. Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. You're being pathetic, began about accurate bacteria in the fridge. It's getting boring, but packing bags due to the tea socks I threw to clamshades rim orders on anodons gone. Then I explicated, are you still not persuaded? There's grass growing on your time, panic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifice to the gosh, not to start all over again. Bizarre all over again. Trash. Trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before.
Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus? Brutal? <laughs> Never. All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. And if he has to use the toilet, then he can do that on the trawler. Of course, Grandma. It's just that I have hardly any water left. He's just getting a hammer. Hmm. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. And he shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. Well, if that's all you're worried about... Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? You almost have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp, things are always getting caught in there. Oh, Grandma, you worry about the silliest things. If you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is going to work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Oh. 
Doc. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And whoop. Oof. Perfect body control, as always. Maybe I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> that tickles. With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Easy and totally realistic. If the black powder reaches the flames, it could ignite the gas. And then, hmm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? It, oh, it worked! I saved Doc! Ah! Whoa! Rufus, Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Gole and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Gole convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponia. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gold. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. No, remember, he's lied to you before. The goal that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of Gold. The part that is naive and idealistic. The goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help Gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for Gold. That looks like an ejector seat. Huh, there's still dust on the label. <sighs> a shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an ejector seat. I'm what's best for goal. No, don't! Ha! Uh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! No! Goal! You idiot! Goal! No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic! I'll get you. Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gaul. Hang in there. Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way. 
Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus! No! Cletus! Uh, ah! Oh dear, what have I done? I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect... Uh... Rufus? Rufus. Ouch. Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We can start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailiff. Stop interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him. But as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Yeah, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? The most epic tales feature cool depictions <coughs> of saw blades crushed into cable boat walls. The account is all blunt stunned, affected goals and planned, but surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll send him to attend a second chance for a decent happy end with a grand fling with dancing and blues and so forth. Huzzah with twos and so forth. I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. Good morning, Lazy Bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well, yada, 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 blood from her ears, blah, blah, blah. You can find me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, there's something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Ugh, slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. 
No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait! What's this? Hey, that's my old anchovy bait. It's still good. Huh. The floating black market is in the middle of the rust red sea, far from the cruiser routes of the Organon. That's good. Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And tar and toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh, you're scaring the fish. Uh, rotten fish. Close enough. But this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me... Rufus, where I find lab belong to Doc. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just... Shooting it a contemptuous glance. Oh, Doc's office is in the industrial park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first then. According to the delivery note, the crate contains a replacement airbag for the canal gondolas. Hey, look what I've got! And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick! What's wrong? Fetch the stick! Or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now! Atta boy! If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a good boy, I might even let you pass. <sighs> go on! I just threw a stick and you are a dog. So, what do dogs do in a case like this? I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself? No, wrong! You fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Wait, wait, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, boy, you didn't really just do that, did you? <laughs> I can't take it anymore! <laughs> exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock... What... well, I'm... when... when the shock... I mean, what... what the... what the shock... Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock. <laughs> because of the electric shock and... and, and so on. <clears throat> Oh, come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should insulate the stick.
<laughs> now he's in for a nasty shock. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes, you were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur. Here, like this. You put the stick in your mouth. <laughs> oh boy, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Hey, Doc, Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character. The ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Hey, you. Who? Me? No, we're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh, yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. News spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait, let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! 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 Ouch! Ow! 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 Ouch! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oof! Ow! He hasn't got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh! 
Oh, oh. Lots of friendly people here. Maybe I should tone it down a bit. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course, we currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. A lollipop? So which brand do you prefer? Um... And those are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Hmm? Ooh, oh. Ooh. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Mm, Rufus? Uh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. <laughs> Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Yes, who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé or his cheap imitation. Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. She seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of gold? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to go. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. 
The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Go and persuade her, all three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. Hey, hold still! Oh, darn it. Oh, it seems to have some sort of motion sensor. May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. Why are you sitting here on your lonesome? I'm waiting for a worthy opponent to play rock, paper, scissors. Why do you think you might find one here? Because people around here tend to give you the finger. <laughs> and that makes sense. So you're a professional rock, paper, scissors player? Yeah. I'm an expert, a professional gamer, a prestidigitator. Scissors is my forte. I've been training it for years and I can do it in my sleep. But my rock really rocks too. <laughs> Once in a while, I'm still a bit hesitant to make full use of my paper. But my coach says that I can compensate for this weakness through speed and stamina. Didn't we meet in front of Doc's workshop? Uh, you must be mistaken. No, no. You and your beefy chum, you were going to take something from me. What was it you were yelling? Death to the Organon? Death to the Organon! Uh, I mean, um, <laughs> death to the Organon! <laughs> Whoever would say such a thing? Not that it isn't a good slogan. I mean, someone must have put a lot of thought into that. I'll be off then. See you around. Excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? Mm, say, where's your pal? Wink? He's got in our secret hideout. Even though he's not really qualified. Blind as a bat in his right eye. And the right eye is the important one, after all. Huh? Who says that? My mama. Why? I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like, for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. So, uh, unorganized crime. What is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'm a gifted tinkerer. Really? So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Yeah, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. So how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless. Like shave Donna's cat, for instance. If that's all. Uh, that wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right... M uh, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. I'll get back to you. Whatever. Hi-ho, hi-ho.
Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. Hey, dee dee do Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap? Hey, hands off. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I get a pain in the neck when I look down for too long. Hello, bozo. Old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus. Is there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. Something went wrong with the surgery. You think so? She looks healthy to me. Well, physically, she's in great shape. Like this. Boom, chaka chaka, boom, yeah! But mentally, it's more like... <laughs> Understand? Certain people have mental problems. Yes, I understand that. Her mind has been split into three parts. Now, I have to persuade all three of them to come back to the lab for another round of surgery. Your girlfriend now exists in triplicate? <laughs> Don't stretch yourself too thin. Handling one woman's hard enough, but three at a time? I'll manage somehow. Oh. Don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus. Only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. <sighs> Listen. I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Ugh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? I mean, between the two times since we've met. Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast ye landlubbers! Yo ho 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 ho! Oh well. None of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Arr. See you later. Don't get lost. Hey, leave the candle alone. It's the only thing that provides light in here when the generator goes on the fritz. Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Gulliver's Gully. I'm Gulliver. If you need to use the bathroom, let me know. And I'll give you the key, the flashlight, and the wolf repellent. We assume no liability for damages caused by the peanuts on the counter. So, what can I do for you? What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, You'd better go uptown, assuming they let you in. Downtown is reserved for smugglers, fences, gamblers, and pirates. For a special thrill, I recommend watching the platypus pataka in the market arena. However, fighting only takes place when two squabblers are going after each other. I, uh, need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah, 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 hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah, 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 spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah, 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 leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes? Who would sign this nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? No. Uh, blind. Using this bathroom is also a popular test of courage. I mean, popular with those who are named in the will. Garliff up there currently has a bet going on with his buddy, Lebo. But, uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He's still got plans. 
Yeah, well, I have a plan, too. I'm planning not to act like a coward. Hand me that pen. You don't have to do this. You know that, right? I've never done things I had to do. Well, then, good luck. When your urge to go becomes stronger than your sense of self-preservation, you can ask Gala for the key. I'll do that. See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. All right, Rufus. This is a routine situation for a ladies' man like yourself. Easy peasy. No reason at all to be nervous. You are eloquent and witty. Very handsome. And your hair smells of solvent. Now, for the right facial expression. Here it comes. Check. Charm cannons at full blast. <laughs> and now, to come up with the best possible line. Oh, that's it. A classic. Take a deep breath, and then... <sighs> Here I go. Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? You have to come with me and see Doc. What for? So you can demolish my head even further? Ah, really turned your head, did I? Turning heads and demolishing them are two different things. <laughs> with Tony's tortoise, they weren't. Listen, Rufus, I am dirty, my hair is a mess, and my head feels like someone sliced through my skull with a circular saw. Yes, but there's no proof. And to top it all off, I'm starving. So, you'd better stay away from me. Hey, if you're hungry, I've got a leftover bowl of peanuts from our last mud cake festival. Oh, yuck! It's growing hair! I bet this little bowl contains more killer bacteria than a biological warfare lab. Nah, we're all out of killer bacteria. These are influenza viruses. Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. The cartridge fits. Now the remote just has to work. Thanks to my charm, the rest will be child's play. Huh? What the... Where am I? Don't you know? You haven't had that much to drink. This is still Gulliver's Gully, the darkest dive in the floating black market. Floating black market? Not on Deponia. Where else? Rufus, I'll wring his neck. Everything okay? Just give me some of your strongest. As long as I'm here, I may as well rot my brain. One rust-red brain death, coming right up. Hmm? You again. What do you want? You have to come with me and see Doc. I must? I don't think so. But your health is at stake. Don't worry. I'm feeling just great. But if you don't come... Then what? Will I get bruises? Will my shoulder be dislocated? Will I get a nosebleed? No, not that. But... But you will if you keep bothering me like that. Yeah, well, bother, bother, bother. Uh, Rufus. What? what? A little friendly advice. Never provoke a woman with a temper. Believe me. I once knew a woman who... You, you stay, stay out, out of this! Of this. Uh, you two do what you want, then. Where were we? I think I was about to bring you with this bar stool. Ah, yes, great. Then let's proceed. Hey! No fighting in my bar, you hear? Yeah. Mm. Wait here, I'll be right back. No threats, please. Hi. Ah, you again. Are you finally gonna order something now? Go on, tell me about those platypus fights again. Platypus Pataka is a lethal contest, a fight for life and death. Platypus Pataka? Sounds exciting. Too bad I probably won't find a worthy opponent here. I'd volunteer, you know, but I can't possibly beat a woman. And that's right. You cannot possibly beat me. No, I mean I would really hate to hurt you. When I'm conscious. Uh, exactly. 
see you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. What? How did I wind up here? Most people ask that, but very few of them really want to hear the answer. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, it's you! How nice! So, this is where you've been hanging out. Have I? That's crazy! I can't even remember how I got here! You have to come with me and see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? No, you... Oh dear, I can feel it now. I think I'm running a fever. No, no, you're, you're not sick. Um, my quick mum. Look and tell me if my uvula is swollen. Ah! Uh... Will you listen to me? You're not sick. Oh, what a relief. And here I was thinking I had to see Doc. But you, you, you do have to see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? <sighs> this is going to be one of those days. It doesn't really matter how you got here. What's more important, I know how you can leave here. Oh, in a dirigible! Please, please tell me it's a dirigible! Uh, no, not in a dirigible. Oh. M maybe later. Yippee! Won't you please just come along? Where? Well, to, to Doc. Who's Doc? Say, did you fall and hit your head? Hmm, I don't know. Did I? Yeah, actually, yes, I, I think so. Can't you remember anything? Well, yes, you are... Rudy. Rufus. Oh, this is exhausting. My head feels as if a burning saw blade hit me in the temple. Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important for you to go see Doc. Oh, you're probably right. You're such a good friend, Rudy. <laughs> sure. So, are you coming? There's no time to lose. We need to prevent the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Well, did I hear that right? You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those resistance fruitcakes. Resistance? What are you talking about? What do you think? Janosh and his people, who else? Janosh? I told him a thousand times that I won't have any conspiratorial meetings in my bar. First, they're all death to the Organon. And then I end up having to scrape peanut chips out of the jukebox. Did you hear that, Rufus? A real resistance movement. I heard it. How terribly exciting. But the really important thing is that we're both headed to Doc now. We're going to fix your brain and... We can't do that now. We need to join the resistance. I... Uh, yes. Yeah, what? Wait here. I'll be right back. Yay! Hello, Bozo. Uh, Rufus, what's up? What were you going to say earlier? Something about a very special boarding maneuver? I don't know what you're getting at. Again. Come on, you can't fool me. You pirates are all the same. A girl in every port and constantly on the lookout for new ports, right? <laughs> Not in the least. Although... Ah! I knew it! My Bambina lives here, in the floating black market. But I don't think that really counts. We were only together for two days. And, uh, and then she sent you packing? And she held a pistol to my head for the entire time. Actually, that should count. I do believe Spunky Goal likes me. Spunky Goal? Yeah, she's really something, you know? <laughs> Looks like all of her temperament wound up on one cartridge. <laughs> Whoa, then you better be careful. Believe me. I know that kind of woman. They can be quite tame and playful if you know how to handle them. But make one wrong move, say one wrong word, and out come their claws. Heh, <laughs> do you think I should buy her a scratching post? The only thing that helps is the right choice of words. It was the same with my Bambina. I only had to say the one all-important sentence. And the tigress turned into a docile kitten in one instant. Oh yeah, then why aren't you still together? Well, I got a little horse, and she made it to her rifle cabinet before I reached the door. Oh. 
So, what are these mysterious words that will tame a temperamental woman? Forget it, Rufus. Those words have caused enough pain already. But surely your wounded heart must have healed by now. This isn't just about my heart, Rufus. It's also about my shoulder, my leg, and my left lung. Tell me more about your Bambina. Well, she's the most spirited woman I've ever met. She owns the weapon shop in Little Venice. She's got a killer personality, although she's never been convicted. It's been a while since I lost my heart to her. Good thing Doc happened to have a donor heart handy. I think you should pay a visit to your Bambina. What? <laughs> no way. Forget it. Oh, come on. She sounds really hot. Yeah, so hot she could burn out your throat. And she would, too. What are you, a pirate or some kind of pie pan? For the umpteenth time, I'm not a pirate. And I'm also not interested in having you entangle me in all kinds of weird adventures. I like my life just fine, the way it used to be before I met you. Peace and quiet. Serenity. Raiding parties, sea battles, mutinies, slaying of the firstborn. Sunday afternoon walks, gardening exhibits. Pillaging, keel hauling, treasure hunts, walking the plank. Damn it, Rufus. Not everyone likes conflicts. I certainly don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, no, and no. Yes, 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 yes. On the contrary. On the contrary, I hate conflicts. I... Uh, okay, I give up. Ha! I knew it! You've still got a crush on her, don't you? I'm going to pay her a visit. Meet me in front of the weapons shop in Little Venice. I'm gonna need emotional support and medical assistance. Of course you will, you old swashbuckler, you. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Uh, uh, Rufus, there you are. Stay where you are! My optician knows karate! B but Rufus, it's me, Bozo. Ha! <laughs> you look ridiculous! Ridiculously good. Uh... You don't think this hat makes my face look fat? And the ruffles pinch a little in the crotch. Nah, it's supposed to be that way. Just right for a date. And is that aftershave I smell? No, it's a wolf repellent. Oh, good. Uh, thinking ahead. So you're, you're all set then. I don't know. Do you really think this is a good idea? Of course. It's gonna be great. Last time you said that, I got stuck on a reef. Yes, but the view was fabulous. Come on, you big baby. Oh, good grief. How did I get myself into this? You nasty brat! How many times do you have to tell you that I didn't shoot the grandpa? Well, at least not on purpose. What? Bozo? Is that really you? Uh... Come on in. I don't want to have to dispose of the body of yet another noise pollution officer in the canal. Come on! And now you tell me exactly where you have been all this time. Well, I, I, I was on my way to... Uh, what are you doing with that machete? Please calm down, will you? Aren't you at Hulk of glad to see me? Come on, Bambina. You know exactly what's gonna happen. First, you're mad as a hornet. But as soon as I say this certain line... What's that?
la 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 Ah! Would you believe it? Can't hear myself talking over this din! I think you better leave now! But... Out! Now! See? I told you. Shh! Did I just hear something? No, I don't think so. I mean, doormats can't talk, right? Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh man, that was a lousy Easter. I uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. Yoo-hoo! What is that sheet music? La musica si fa volare. Is it una canzone molto romantica? La 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 la! Mmm, calzoni. Prego? Can't you sing something else for a change? Uh, con piacere. Ma sfortunamente, but is it too bad? I have just uno singolo spartito. Only one musica città, comprende? <laughs> Some of it. Arrivederci! Huh? What's up, Is sugar in the tank good or bad for the engine? Well, there's only one way to find out. Ah, right. It was bad. Thought so. <laughs> it's really dark here. But not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar hearing. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole southwest quadrant. <laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. Ouch! Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <laughs> and now, quiet. Ha! Got it! Stronzo! Yes, you matto! Make me a poop with my new sacco di aria! Now I must go to the dog to get a replacement! <laughs> that was funny. The mating song of the junk crabs. Do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. Excuse me, you want an old salesman? When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever. You again, come on in. Come on! 
You got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you feel the noise, dear? I got thing in noise here. A chakra settled in our clock. The racket about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing if I am not erring. A chakra in the chronograph I'm having a laugh. Not again! How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! Ha! Gotcha! Run! You're free! But don't get lost. Ancora? Oh, stupido! Stupido ganzo cretino! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, Rufus. Do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. <sighs> Freaking Girl Scouts! You will regret your persistence! As soon as I find out why my spring gun won't... You again! Come on in! Come on! You got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you hear the noise, dear? I got thing in noise here. A chakra settled in our clock. The racket about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing if I am not erring. A chakra in the chronograph are having a laugh. I'm shaken, awakened, if I'm not mistaken. A chakra nesting in a clock, the racket about in the tickety tock. I doubt excluded if I'm not deluded. 
Ab ins und ab gedeckt das Ram mit Schauerchronometer. It's late and I'm tired. If I'm not ill, wild. Junks have cost a dreadful noise in our time measurement device. What's that now? You're kidding. The trumpets and fiddling. What the crap? I'm going to snap in ice and risk of skidding. How can I sleep with junk traps near the ear? What's all my sorrow? I fear my dear, we have to exile wedding tomorrow. Ah, not again! <laughs> what a sight! Go ahead, Bozo! Say it! Whoa! Now comes the interesting bit. <clears throat> Why, hello, dog. Come here often. Oh, Bozo. Wow, six words that open the gate to a whole new world. Okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have the same again. Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off. And then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, well, why? Hello, doll. Come here often. Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Yeah, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot ain't a crime. Hey! But maybe being an idiot is. I said, hey! You're lucky I don't hit women. Go ahead and try. Maybe I'll start by giving you a good spanking. If you fancy a broken jaw, be my guest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here in the floating black market, we settle our differences in a civilized manner. There is only one way to get you two to quit your bickering. Platypus Bataka. <laughs> Bring it on! doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. It's on! 
doesn't mean a thing. I let her win on purpose. On the other hand, it might not be a bad idea to train my infamous Rufus reflexes. It's on! Let's get ready for another boiling roll! was fun. Maybe you're not the little idiot I took you for after all. That's because people tend to overlook my true greatness. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you'll find a way. And I should know. The others are a part of me. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, only without his attitude and his misguided sense of superiority. That's true. I'm totally laid back. And you exude a certain air of neglect that makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I'd better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. Have you got the key to the tavern bathroom? Yes, but I still need it. I have this bet going. You bet that you would use that bathroom? Uh, yeah, but I simply haven't worked up the courage yet. Scares the crap out of you, does it? That's what I'm waiting for. 
I want to play. Huh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked, they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yep, here they are. Ha ha ha, nice try, buddy. Why? What's, what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Come back when you have an official tournament hand. I'll be off then. See you around. I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! What do I have to do to make you come along? I don't know. Can you do magic? Of course. I'm really good at making objects disappear. Too bad we haven't got time for that. We need to join the resistance. Just like Yanosh. Oh, is this really necessary? Oh, please. Oh, all right. But then we'll go see Doc. Of course. A true resistance fighter will go anywhere. Wait here. I'll be right back. Yay! May I bother you again? Aren't you gonna do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. I wanna play. Uh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked, they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yep, here they are. Ha ha ha, nice try, buddy. Why? What's, what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Come back when you have an official tournament hand. I'll be off then. See you around. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! Yanosh, Yanosh. What's up with that Yanosh? That's what I would like to know. No, that was a rhetorical question. Yanosh is the leader of the Resistance. You keep raving about him. Really? He must be quite a daredevil. Oh, good grief. Will you come along to see Doc now? But Rufus! In a situation like this, how can I think of myself? The fate of the entire world is at stake. I thought we were going to save the world from Elysium. No! You can't save the world sitting at a desk. I was actually thinking about a recliner. Don't you know anything about freedom fighters? It takes many little sparks to get a fire going. Actually, it goes faster than that. Oh, Rufus. Here I was, thinking you're an activist, just like Yanosh. Well, I am. It's just that I prefer recreational activities. Wait here, I'll be right back. Yay! May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. You're part of a resistance movement, or so I've heard. Who said that? That's top secret information. Sorry, didn't know that. And the others don't seem to be clear on the concept either. And please tell them! We can't have everyone broadcasting my secrets! May I join you? Impossible. You could be an Organon spy. But how are you going to fight the Organon if you don't recruit new members? <laughs> Through passive resistance. Meaning you do nothing? But we do. We constantly hatch new plans about how we can resist even more passively. Sometimes we even don't say a bad word about the Organon for weeks. That's how passive we are. Wow, the Prime Controller is going to blow a fuse when he finds out. Please let me join you. I want to impress a woman. You think that would work? Of course. Women go for courageous men. Men who have the courage to use a filthy bathroom in a pub. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking of the kind of courage you need to join a good cause. Hey, but I'm already doing that. Here, take this bathroom key to Gulliver. I no longer need it.
I'll be off then. See you around. Did it just get colder in here? Ah! Uh, what is that? Oh! Ah! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Anything but that! Take it away! Take it away! Ah! Not this agony! <laughs> Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises and... Let's just say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. Is this a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille. Although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment. Cucumis Agnito, the cucumber of revelation. It's so new, that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. Expired tranquilizers. Huh, <laughs> better than nothing. Uh, great. Hey, hello? What do you mean, bleh, the nerve? Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? Why is the pedestal over there empty? It is not empty. What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility, the most powerful gadget on Deponia. Golden dragon of invisibility? It may be hard to believe, but it is really there. A beautiful object, lavishly ornamented. And its powers are beyond imagination. But touching it is absolutely prohibited. I think I can only just hold myself back. Very much appreciated. What kind of things do you sell here? At Gilligan's Gadget Garden, we offer the most amazing equipment in all of Deponia. Go ahead and browse at your leisure. You are welcome to try out a few gadgets. But please remember to put back the merchandise before you leave the shop. But of course, what do you take me for? My CPU has calculated an 86% probability of an imminent attempt at shoplifting. What? Now, now that's outrageous. Based on what? Based on several factors. The way you are dressed, for example. I'll just be on my way then. Please come again soon. Here goes nothing. An excellent choice, sir. 
Please do not forget to return the merchandise to its proper place before leaving the store. O oh, cucumber of revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then... Um... Whatever. Something really clever. I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that. Because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then... Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello. Hello. Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Ahem. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. <laughs> Super. Dang it. Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. <laughs> it works! I'm invisible! <laughs> woo! Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I sure fooled him.
Well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. Wait a minute. Nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this. But that's... Hello? Wink, please come in. Uh-oh. There's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiancé. Well, ex-fiancé, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus. Wink. Is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes, uh -huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Well, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? Where are you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Why, I wonder. <clears throat> Because of the handover later? My answer would have been more plausible, but yes, exactly. I'm in an Organon blast tower, directly on the cruiser route to Porta Fisco. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. But let me know in advance when you're going to show up here, or the Organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? Why do you need those ascension codes again? But I already told you! Yes, but your pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Ugh. I'll explain it to you just one more time. Ugh. The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Port of Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the ascension codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that the Ponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risk. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <coughs> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead, too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Please, us out. Uh, j just, just a moment. I... Uh, 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 oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charm. <laughs> it can't be so hard, then. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuffed. Then where's the real kitty? Ah well, who cares? Uh-oh.
What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with him? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? I want to make Donna an offer. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. Forget it. I refuse to negotiate with criminals. Have it your way. Go ahead. A quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> Donna says no. What? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> now you have me confused. Confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it, too, so far. How did that happen? Finally, my own tournament hand. May I bother you again? Aren't you gonna do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. I wanna play. Huh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Yeah, those are actually real tournament fingers. And they're not loaded. So, let's get started. I'm ready. Well then, lift your hand. One, two, three. No, oh, that should be enough. Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round, so you need to surrender two fingers. What? So what did you think this was about? Get on with it. Put your hand on the table. You didn't stand a chance. I told you so. Wanna play a game? Rats, it's stuck! Rats, it's stuck! No, we can't. Darn it, you're a fast learner. Looks like I'll have to open a new bag of tricks to win. Rats, it's stuck! Rats, it's stuck! Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round, so you need to surrender two fingers. What the? You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh well, it ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There, you won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? What the? 
You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh, well. It ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There. You won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. Impossible. You... you... beat me! Ha <laughs> ha! Don't mess with Rufus! That's what I keep saying! Oh yeah! <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you. Well, be that as it may, I'm an honest player. And I keep my word. This is our secret knock. Can you remember that? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Can I hear it again? Uh, but you mustn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Nobody but gold. What was that? I need some alcohol now. Ah, me too. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! It is done. We are resistance fighters. Really? Sure. I even know the secret knock. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? We have to go to Janosch and get our instructions. Last one, there's a rotten egg. But no, no. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, rats. Du du da du 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 da ru refus ru ru refus ru refus super super defus. <laughs> hey, you can say what you like about those black market bums, but they have good taste in music. Du du da du 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 da. No wait, that isn't the secret knock. Uh, I know. I just got it a little mixed up. The knock goes. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Wrong again. Beat it. Crap. It's just because of that snappy groove they play in the marketplace. May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. What was that secret knock again? Uh, I keep forgetting that myself. I think it's because of the music they play in the marketplace. It tends to make my head spin. Now, this is the knock. Got it now? Yeah, I think so. I'll be off then. See you around. Did you get us that new recruit? Uh, sure. Finally, a new face after all these years. Janosch is gonna flip out. And a woman, too. Nobody's gonna laugh at us now. Just let me in, okay? Hmm, that could be right. <laughs> finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knock. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? But that's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. Weren't you gonna knock? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, I can't believe this. Weren't you gonna knock? <laughs> That's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't see the humor in knock-knock jokes. Huh? There's nobody here, so it wasn't a knock-knock joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Lebo. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay. But only because it's you. Now I've got it. That was right. Of course it was. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? Ah! Another new recruit. At last. Our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> hmm, just listen to you giggle. <laughs> stop it! No, wait! Don't stop! How can I stop if you never tell me what it is that defines you exceedingly humorous? <laughs> Bravo! Awesome! But... <laughs> Seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because, you know, I'm really looking for the hideout of the Resistance, not a carnival. You have come to the right place. True. Carnival was last week. Hey! What is that all about? You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Shake, shake. With clear elocution. Shake. In short, someone who could go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. <gasps> Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station is charismatic enough. I was talking about myself, you Dodos. Don't make me laugh! What could possibly qualify you for that kind of responsibility? What do you think? I've got a concept! I have got to concept myself! Oh, do you now? So, what's your concept? They're sitting here discussing, snacking on ships, and questioning about the unfairness of being oppressed by the Organon. And what exactly are you hoping to move that way? Move? Who said anything about moving? Well, isn't that sort of implied by the term underground movement? Oh, that, yes. Well, of course we are moving as well. <laughs> I wasn't talking about circling the sun and drifting away from the other tectonic plates. Oh, get real. Your concept is crap. For crying out loud, you can't even pronounce the word concept properly. I'm taking matters into my own hands now. Yes, oh yes! Slideshow! I bet this is going to be so exciting! Watch and learn! Oh, what is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything! A symbol? A shimble? How mysterious! The concept sounds pretty exciting already. Positively mystic, with just a hint of legend. Shut up, Leibold. And what does it symbolize? It shows what will become of us if we don't act right away. Wow, this is shocking. You're a pretty glib talker. But do you have any proof for your claim? I most certainly do. Here. What's that? An Organon bombing fort. The Dark Exchequer has distributed these towers around the planet. I find that disturbing. I'm scared. I don't quite understand. Why would the Organon build towers like that? What's the purpose of those bases?
Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. What? But are you really sure? Of course. It's true. The order comes from the Elysian Council of Elders. They have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Inconceivable. But what are we going to do about it? Our team will dare to attack. Attack the Organon. Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where to strike. Yes, we do. I obtained topographical data locating one particular Organon fort. Wow. He seems to be really well prepared. I thought there were hundreds of blast towers. Why should we tackle this particular one? Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. That's horrible. Rufus is right. We must prevent it at all costs. But what comes next? What about all the other blast towers? Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. So far, I understand it all. Can you give us a brief summary? I will do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can do it myself. No, no, I will summarize this. Uh-oh. All right, whatever happens, don't laugh, Rufus. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. W what was that exactly? An Organon bombing fort. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Our team will dare to attack. So far, so good. And what is this? You obtain topographical data, locating one particular organ on fort. Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. Almost done! Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. You've understood everything. Bravo! That's all very well, but how does it help us? An Elysian inspector named Cletus is currently here on Deponia. Goal accompanied him. That's why she's here in the first place. Her codes serve to activate the last high boat in Port of Fisco that is supposed to take her back to Elysium. We have to let Elysium know that Deponia is actually inhabited. Therefore, I will take Goal to Elysium. But of course, you could try to sway the Council of Elders. Once they learn that Deponia is inhabited, they'll cancel the blast. But why should you of all people go to Elysium? Because I'm the spitting image of the inspector. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. But it's true. Rufus and Cletus could be twins. What a strange coincidence. And it gets even better. Argus's cruiser has docked at the blast tower I indicated. Its mission is to take Cletus and Goal to the high boat in Porta Fisco. During the attack, Goal and I can make use of the ensuing chaos to overwhelm Cletus, and then I will take his place. What do you say? Are you with me? That sounds very risky. But it's our only chance. Any more questions? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Long live Rufus, our spearhead! That was so cool! You made Janos look like a little idiot! <laughs> well, how else would he look compared to somebody my size? Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You were a lot like Cletus, but you lack his moody, spiteful side. That's true. Just thinking of that idiot really gets my dander up. And you're so clueless and bumbling, which makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Uh, what just happened? 
Oh, I must have been unconscious. Oh, no wonder with the air in here. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh? Impressive digs. Ahem. Have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. What are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My... Dad? Rufus? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem. Your shoes, Rufus. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick-ass location. And a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's, it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. Oh. Listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes, Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium. You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I remember. And how? Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today, I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad, I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old, loser. Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. Don't you even want to know what I've been up to all this time? Oh, please don't tell me you wreak some sort of havoc again. What was it this time? Did you set something on fire? Did you steal anything? Destroy someone else's property? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've got to see that in context. I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? <laughs> now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No. You were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry. She's in a safe place, down in Gulliver's Tavern at the harbor. Okay. Looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad? Let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives. If, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me hives, all right. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Well, there was this bowl of peanuts. I'm talking about a date, Rufus. A romantic date. Hmm. The only restaurant that might be suitable is Shea Schlumpy. At least they offer an exclusive view. But alas, all they have on their menu is platypus. What's wrong with platypus? It's so vulgar. It lives among the flotsam and feeds on table scraps. It could even be the heraldic beast of Deponia. No. Platypus dishes would only remind her that she is stranded in the boondocks. You must see to it that Platypus completely disappears from the menu at Schlumpy's. Can you do that? Ah, piece of cake for a romantic like me. Once you've done that, you may reserve a table in my name. But not before then. Understand?
Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 1. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 2. <laughs> this library is a total waste of space. As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, 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 that doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah, that's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. There. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Yeah. Who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? <laughs> These hideous vegetables? Ah. Uh. They could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. There. This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah, the floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need coal. There. This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. Can't you do anything on your own? That is why I have servants. Oh, yeah. Do they wipe your butt, too? Oh, that reminds me. I Stop need scribbling. Toilet Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? On the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. Knock, knock. Hmm? Who or what are you? Can I borrow some of your things? No. If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. Your place looks a bit austere. I've got everything I need. Yeah, except for an interior designer. You're such a pathetic wretch. But I'm rich in spirit. Isn't that the same? See you later. Right. Leave me alone.
What is that? A message from Captain High and Mighty? You can keep it. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. Well, this message may interest you much more. What? Show me. I need candles. Damn! He needs candles. I read that. And you have candles. Yes, but I... Well? I don't need that sort of thing. Go ahead and take it if you want it. <laughs> you can bet on it. I have another memo from Seagull. Oh dear. I've got a bad feeling about this. I need bread. Well, then I don't need it anymore, do I? Go on, help yourself. Mail from Seagull. Oh, please, no. I need Coal. So, the coal too. Go on, it's yours. Guess what I have here? Another memo. Bingo! I need the thread. <gasps> what else? There goes the thread. Here I am again, and this time... Just take everything you can find. I don't need anything at all anymore, except for a quiet moment to cry myself to sleep. Hey! What are you doing? You said I can take everything. But those are my mother's ashes. Hey, I didn't make the rules. I just bent them a little. What an ugly nest. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their room. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their room. Just a second, I'll be with you right away. Oh, great and almighty Mathulu, your faithful servant has found you another sacrifice. Moginox aprixidur dobidum padlex. Baradur extra cheese. Yes! Yes! Huh, not a bad place. Here I am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, oh, no problem. How can I help you? So, what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Ah, eh, that's no problem. The sacrifice just asked about the fortune cookies, my lord. Meet your panzozex patino muror patidana. La Paridox Tomen Torn! <laughs> Enslave the mortals! Right on! And here I am again! The fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. Hooray!
So, what have you got? Well, the dinner menu applies for the restaurant. Here at the takeout counter, we mainly serve platypus burgers. Hmm. I hope they're not too greasy. I would hate to ruin my perfect body. Oh, in that case, I'd better ask. Oh, great and wise Makulu. The sacrifice wishes to know whether our burgers will make him fat. Ravanek cha. Ravanek kam cha. Goror all natural. Ah, right. Our management would like to assure you that we use nothing but choicest ingredients in our products. And all the essential vitamins are provided by free-range lettuce leaves. Just make your choice from the menu. There are three menu options to choose from. Plus, you can modify your choice if you like. It's all explained on the menu. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu. Is this your order? Yes. Why? Right. Uh, that comes to uh, zero slotty. <laughs> that deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. And you can keep the change. Huh. I can't wait to see if my proverbial tinkerer's luck has landed me a trial membership in the Platypus Club. The greatest happiness is to see others smile. Darn it, another loser. Just a second, how can I help you? I'd like to order the same again. One usual, coming up. What's that supposed to be? A fortune cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. Huh, if that's all. There you go. I won. Hooray. What? Show me. Nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be, um, a member of the Platypus Club. But it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club. Once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah, stick my hand in. Ow!
I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope, but you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a... <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. The Big Platypus Field Guide third edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course! I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. Ha! <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner! <laughs> this plan is like so crazy, so crazy, it just has to work. A crank! This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank! Rufus, you are a genius. According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled, Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? If I could stretch the pants leg, it would make a terrific catapult. But what should I use to fasten it? Obviously, I'm still missing a component. I'll bear it in mind. And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. Good idea. Now. I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have the perfect catapult. Nothing happened. Is that a lint trap? It seems to belong to the flagomat. Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. <laughs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat.
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then... Whoa! A perfect trajectory! Huh, I'm sure that can be used a second time. It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Hmm, no. Actually... Yes, of course! Heh, <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Here, platy platy, look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it! Hey, hands off the tree! Okay. What? That wasn't my hands. Because, because I did it with my feet. You see? Here, feet! Boom! <laughs> oh, come on! That was funny! <laughs> Oh, what happened? And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh, must be the stress. Well... Hey, stop right there! Ah, gotcha! You thought you could fool me, didn't ya? But the wiser man never gives in. That may be just dirt, but it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. According to the field guide, earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. So far, so good.
Who do we have here? Gucci Goo! Well, hello! So young and already so aggressive. It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah! Cold! Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. You should always keep an open flame in your overcoat. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Oh, darn it. The egg hopped into the pipe system completely by itself. I have to get it out of there somehow. Let's go, my duck billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute.
Look at this! A fine specimen, wouldn't you say? What the? Don't tell me you caught that! <laughs> sure looks like it! Holy heck! Perhaps I misjudged you. Just how is that possible when you have so little fisherman's luck? What's your secret, buddy? I use a special kind of bait. Huh. And now he claims to have a... Wait a minute. Bait is important. And you must have caught that razorfish somehow. Could it be that you really got a special bait? Are you calling me a liar? Not if you show me your bait. Huh. What's in it for me? Well, I could offer you... A tiger fish? An ordinary tiger fish against my fantastic special bait? You must be a few worms short of a can. Forget it then. Forget it then, like, so totally. Ha! See if I care. If you want a tiger fish at some point, bring me your special bait. If not, shoot! He wants his peace and quiet. He can have it. What's that supposed to be? What do you think? My special bait? Of course. Hmm. That really does look like genuine bait. All right. Maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Got it! Congratulations, Mr. Fisherman! Now give me the bait! Huh, I don't know. It's a pretty tiny fish and really big bait. All right, all right. Anything to shut you up. Voila! A zebra fish! According to the field guide, water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebra fish. So far, so good. Of course! Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off! Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now! The generator is beginning to overload! The energy flow is off the scale! Space is already beginning to bend! Just a second! Come on, Fishbert! Live! Live! <laughs> I did it! It's alive! <laughs> Rufus, damn it! Yeah, okay. Whatever that was. It was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. Hang on, Frankenfish. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately! 
Come to Papa. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. Hey, Dad. <sighs> What is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food and a grand view, Rufus. No! As in, no? Yes. You also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? <sighs> got burns and blisters, that's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. Not for me. For the lady! Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne, making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. It's more like... Orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes of course. You. Well... Are you well-versed in the lyrical arts? Sure! Well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad! That'll take forever! Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? <sighs> he better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm going to solve this problem my own way, a la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. Oh, platypus, you are the best. Upon your breast, I'll gladly rest. Welcome to Platypus Paradise. What platitudes may I offer you today? Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's poetry. Platypus poetry. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd... I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well... Buckle up, then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, Platy Poo. Wow. I suddenly feel so... Inspired? Elated? Moved? Sick. Grab a bus, Platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. Knock, knock. Hmm? You again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Was that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady, and, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. And the meter. What about that? No matter, as long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Say that again? 
Uh, here am I. There are you. Platypoo? You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. But first, let me give you a few more hints from father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Hmm? Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? Realizing that is part of knowing me. Just like living in constant fear of grievous bodily harm. <laughs> exactly. Are you mad at me for some reason? Whatever makes you think that? You kidnapped me, caused me a bad head injury. That's not the way I remember it. You appear to be suffering from a perception disorder. You mean, in reality, you're not sexy at all? Just stay away from me. Understood? Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Deponia. Lay aside? Certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Why didn't she show up? Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well ooh, start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Oh, I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter! That miserable old dirtbag! Crane! Crane! 
What is it? I found something. One last. No. Little. Don't say it. Memo. I need a radio. Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject. Just give me the radio. Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. If that doesn't beat all. Stealing my date from right under my nose. Your own son. Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father. He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh. I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuvak. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Huh? Look who's talking. Oh, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force, kicking and screaming? Just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this. Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze, dear. That's all. I... Uh, uh. All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Hey, you know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh, yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Shh, it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. <clears throat> Go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You are cuter than a batty wuss. You look just like a platypus. Uh oh. Ah, uh, uh, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very... noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a sub-illuminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. So, what's next on our agenda? Oh, well, since you seem to be at one with yourself once again, I suppose we could go ahead with the surgery. I feel a twinge of regret. I feel so much brighter without my boorish and starry-eyed parts. Ah, I could get used to the thought of dating three goals. What exactly makes you think this might constitute an adequate contribution to our conversation? What? It's just that I like every aspect of you, baby. Oh, we had better get on with that surgery. Hand me the cartridges. I'll go on ahead. Meet me in Doc's lab. She's into me! What's going on here? Janosch? Psst! I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? What is it that's going on in there? I mean, and what are you doing here anyway? 
We are putting your concept into practice. What do you think? My concept? Yes, you were completely right, of course. You cannot start a revolution by just sitting around doing nothing. Therefore, we are going to actively snatch the cartridges. Whoa, wait a minute. Those cartridges contain the mind of my girlfriend. Girlfriend? In your dreams, first off, go list a functionary of the resistance. So, of course she's going to sacrifice herself for the good cause. Sacrifice? Are you totally out of your mind? Unfortunately, another organization has become aware of the Extension Codex, or could I say, an organization. What? Do you mean Donna? Precisely. The unorganized crime has held up in Doc's lab. They took Doc and Girl hostage and are trying to extort free passage. But the revolution doesn't take kindly to extortion. As soon as the clock strikes the full hour, we will system the premises. Actually, Girl left us disturbing. Liebold and I will hold this position. What? But that's completely insane. Um, so it is. I know these people. They'll stop at nothing. You're just gonna get yourselves killed. Or me, as it is. Such is the fate of a freedom fighter, always ready to die for the good cause. Please, don't act just yet. Maybe I can think of something. What will you do? What else? I'm going in there now. But the place is crawling with unorganized criminals. I can handle them. Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Yes? Uh, Yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon. But first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model. But, hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. What was that? Huh. I wonder what all these buttons do. Ah, I'll just push the biggest one. And zap! Oh, look at me. I completed an important mission. Yeah, any monkey could have done that. This sucks. What the? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? You might as well give up, Cletus. I'm not Cletus. I come from the future, you, you, absolute model. You're calling me an absolute model? Yup, because that's what you are. A stupid, retarded, absolute model. Huh, I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble Zooble? Well, actually, it was... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are! 
How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! <clears throat> Through the portal? Yeah, okay. And hurry! The clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. Blah, blah, blah. God, what an idiot. <sighs> Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Doc! Goal! You're alive! What's going on? Rufus, what are you doing? Uh, just chilling. Killing? Bite out his eyes! That might not be necessary this time, boss. It's Rufus. He's one of us. What were you doing in Doc's asbestos cabinet? I, uh, needed some asbestos and accidentally got myself locked up. Really? You gotta be careful. I lost two ants that way. But I'm glad you're here. We're trapped here. Some weird extremists are after our ascension codes. Your ascension codes? We were just about to add them to our corporate inventory. That's why we have this crowbar. If they don't leave soon, we'll be forced to shoot our way out. Shoot them all! Tabula Raza! Wait! I've got a plan! Get on with it then. Wink's trigger finger is getting all itchy. Blasted nickel allergy. May I? Oh, mm. Super. Two more remotes. Great! That should get things moving. Let's see. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey, it says Donna. Oh, wow. So Donna has a brain implant too. That should be useful. And on the other, ha, huh, well, hello. This is the remote that future Rufus gave me earlier. The one that belongs to Liebold. Obviously I have a plan. I just don't know what it is yet. Goal. Rufus, at last, you've got to get us out of here. I'm working on it. Work faster then. After all, you're the one who got me into this mess. <sighs> so you're Lady Goal. And you are about to become Lady Rufus if you don't hurry up. I found this remote. I think it belongs to Donna. What are you getting at? Well, if you would let me remove your cartridge for just a moment. Don't you dare! Wow, Doc keeps a bottle of champagne in his office. What? Where? Sorry, Goal. You'll thank me for this later. Hey, what are you doing? Nice body. Although the eye patch might impede my aim. Don't! No, it's fine actually. Was that necessary? Did you have a better idea? Yes! Too late. Oh well, one less worry at least. Now all we have to do is subdue the rebels. All we need is a new... Don't say it. Plan. Oh. I can feel a flash of inspiration ambling in my general direction. Particles of ingenuity are wafting through the air. Hmm. Use vacuum cleaner engine with bubble gum? 
Perhaps later. Does it always have to be a complicated plan? I thought that's what you like about me. You seem to confuse me with Spunky Goal. Spunky Goal, but of course. I've got Leibold's remote, right? Everything is slowly falling into place. My past self is going to insert Spunky Goal in Leibold. She will then subdue Janosch while I take care of Garlef. And voila, we're out of here. Past self? What are you talking about? Can't we just leave the same way you came in here? No, we can't. Because of the, the temporal coherence and the, and the spatial thingamy and, and, and so forth. It's complicated. Isn't it always? Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Now, we need to find Spunky Gold's cartridge. Here, might as well take this one. Hey, awesome! You're not half bad. Only one third, actually. Just trust me, you go free the others. I'll take care of the rebels, but first... I'm going to grab a gun. And I get Donna's remote. If it makes you happy. Oh, man. This is going to be so totally epic. <laughs> Finally, I've got a gun, too. <laughs> and who's the better man now? Huh? Stupid future Rufus. Oops. <laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Do you happen to know if that is our future? Our future? Rufus, I hate to tell you this, but we have no future. Oh, is that so? Just watch me. I'll see to it that we have one. No future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline is yet to come. Hey, open up! It's me, Rufus! Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up, otherwise I'll screw up causality. Yes! Uh, yoo-hoo! Can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here! What's this? Another remote? Yes! It's Leibold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Leibold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. Whew, good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm... <laughs> One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Well then, let's do it. Cool! Now what? There you are at last! What took you so long? Just because you're from the past, doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him, him Rufus. Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? Huh. I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you, exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of if it wasn't Zeeble Zooble? Well, actually, it was... Uh, <clears throat> hey, <laughs> future me, old pal, there you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and nod. 
have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take care of the rebels. Whoa, is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm gonna dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! Him <clears throat> through the portal. Okay. And hurry, the clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. All right, what a hero. I'm gonna be someone. Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience, and nobody beats me at that. Patience. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike! Ouch. Did you hear that? The clock is striking for error. And right on the spot. It's time for your grand entrance, darling. Uh, do I really have to? Quick question. Usually, it's you who thinks it's what people she shows. But usually, it's only about who fetches a fresh bag of chips. Stop trying to make excuses. One for all, and today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the Ascension Codes. Turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. Well, sometimes. What the... It's jammed? Ah, tough luck! Or not. Rufus? Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for, for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh well, why not? You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could! Doc? Why are you still trussed up? Lady Goal was supposed to untie you! But she didn't. She escaped to the future through the portal! She did what? Uh, uh, no problem. Spunky Goal is still outside, in Lee Bold's body. She'll make Lady Goal see reason. That wasn't Spunky Goal. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Lee Bold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote! Oh, oh my. That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Garleth and to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity. I... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again, it's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together. Save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. 
You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But we were gonna save the world together! That may be true for Spunky Goal and Baby Goal, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home before it's too late. But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away. And there is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there, the destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... Uh, a starship? Now do you finally understand? If Deponia is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. Okay, I think I understand now, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, onto Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry! Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's going to kill us all! I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension Codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to the drama Scrawls fresh doubts in her heart disarray And she left him behind, those to not in one mind Planning to reunite with her fierce fiancé But if you think it's time for a first to resign So close to the finish line, you don't know him at all For heroes gather momentum on the break of the maggot on And scrawled by the squall, they put balls to the wall Rufus! Uh. Ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosh, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side like way back then. 
Way back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh. Well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the Organon. You think so? Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fisco. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a fish it. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, huh. well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last? What kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watchet. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watchet. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough! I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. What? That's supposed to be the pole? Lonzo puts more ice in the drinks when he wants to save alcohol. What a disappointment. This could be useful. I'll take it. Careful. Tea's hot. Did I just hear a challenge? No, I... Oh! Ouch! Ooh, darn it. I warned you. What are you making? Iced tea. But the tea was against the cold. So? I don't believe in wasting food. And I still had to watch you throw away the fries I stuck up your nose during the night. Now it should be all right. Don't do it. The tea is... Hot? Hardly. No, I mean it's also... Weak. Uh-oh. It's true what they say. You just can't stop the melting at the poles. I'm sure he won't mind. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? Except for the fact that you steered us straight into the eternal ice. At least I didn't steer us into an iceberg. But you did! Yeah, and why can't I remember that? Probably because you were hit on the head by a refrigerator when the polar bears attacked us. Huh. I seem to have missed a few things. You certainly did. It was pretty cool. What are we doing here, anyway? Shouldn't you know the answer to that, as you're the one who guided us here? Yes, but, I mean, you know how things are. Every task breaks into subtasks, which in turn break into more subtasks. It's easy to get lost somewhere in there. Ah, I see. It really is very cold here. <laughs> you weakling. Can't you even stand a little cold? Yeah, more than you. Oh, really? 
really? There's only one way to find out. Ice, Ice swimming. swimming. Ice swimming? Wait, that's dangerous. Hey, eh, why am I getting so upset? I can still dream of my happy place. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy, happy. I said no icebergs below the belt. Can't help it if you mumble. <sighs> hey, Bozo, you should check your propeller. Some lunatic tied a penguin to it. No problem. I'll take care of it later. But be careful, you might ruin our slide. Mm -hmm. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Lousy weather. We should make sure we finish up here as quickly as possible. The crust on my overcoat is starting to dissolve. It drives a pump that removes the leaking diesel from the water. Wait a minute. The diesel is leaking out of the generator's exhaust pipe. Astounding. A closed sewage system. Only oily water comes out of the tap. Oh, great. B -b -b Baby goal! What was that? That's my new jingle. Hmm, needs a little bass if you ask me. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? Not really. I'm afraid of thunder. I'm here. All is well. I've got a plan. Can you stand on that plateau over there for a minute? Of course. And now? Huh. For some reason, that's not working. Come back down for now. Okie dokie. So much thunder in the air. Yes, how do you manage to stay so calm? Well, once you've stuck your fingers into the same electrical socket three times in a row, then, then, then you, you still know how you started sentences, even if you... <laughs> Snibbly bubbly whoop. I have so much to learn from you. Dear wobbledy snoop. On we go. I'll follow you anywhere. I went to the radio mast. The transmitter is broken. How do you know? Oh, I found it lying at the foot of the radio antenna. It's fried. So it is. You're right. Oh, I know a fried piece of electronics when I see one. Even when your signature is missing? Can you repair it? I already did. Well, why did you take so long? Mainly because of the lollipop stick that was stuck between the contacts. At any rate, the device is working now. All you need to do is mount it at the top of the radio mast. Easy peasy. So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench? Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. <sighs> uh, 
Is that necessary? Why? Isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well-versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 please don't do that. Hey ho, my brother, what's up in the hood? Please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, yeah. now I understand. This is some sort of uh, social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it, but not, not quite. I will admit your stink is authentic, but as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objection. I insist. Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the quay can sometimes be quite unpleasant. Yet, don't worry, I'm not going to take it away from you. I'm just going to make a couple of modifications. It just, it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? There, that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. Yet, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. You look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living off the algae that grow on the key wall. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort, but <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. So, so, what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. <sighs> no, 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 no. I said wrong. No, bums eat shoes. What? Shoes! Everyone knows that! Can I borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you break it and now you want to take it away from me? Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role! Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You... you would really do that for me? Of course! I told you I was a philanthropist. Smell you later. And remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. Yes? It's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It, uh, starts with N, right? Ha! Good luck! Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janusz is expecting you. Rufus, pleased to see you. Janusz, wow. What you built up here is... It's not all bad. Yes, 
Recruitment operations are running smoothly. I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah, why am I only number two? But now, we have won more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Although that is counting the three train dolphins, actually. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Ah, I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent! My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. You are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless. Believe me. Are, are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes, but... I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings to yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. Say what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times, and so you gave up fortune telling? But but no. I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Ah, it is time. The time of the great... Banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Go on. Accept your fate. No, never. Go on. Take them. Help yourself. No! <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. <laughs> Today is not your lucky day, Seagull. My people rummaged through every pile of garbage, but they found no trace of the girl. She was here. Why would I lie to you? I don't know. You appear to suffer from an inflated ego, just like your son. Rufus is not my son. You can do whatever you want with him. 
but we had a deal. You wanted a tip, and I gave you one. Can I help it if your people are totally incompetent? You are wasting my time. And I can't stand it when my time is being wasted. Hey you! Tone it down a bit! You're scaring the fish! I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I want every nook and cranny of this junk pile turned inside out once more. And close off all access to the harbor. Even if a rat tries to get out of here, I want to know. That was Argus with his bloodhounds. So the Organon is already after us. Shh! He's right. We need to be careful. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm, uh, I'm uh, b bowing before Neptune. Or, uh, isn't that him? What? Where? Are you mocking me? Mocking, robbing, something like that, yeah. How's it going? Shh! Stop raising such a ruckus. Well, let me worry about that. I'm not afraid of the Organon. Good for you, but please go crow about that somewhere else. Too noisy. You're scaring the fish. Oh, get off it. You're afraid of the Organon, too. Just get lost. I thought you said you weren't afraid. Uh, that's right, I'm not. If you're not afraid, then why did you stop fishing? Guess why? <laughs> you're trembling all over. Your palms are sweaty. Telltale signs that you're scared. Wrong! The problem's you. Whenever you're in the vicinity, all I catch is boots, so scram! Could you please catch a boot for me? What a dumb thing to ask. If word gets around, they might boot me out of the fishing association. Is that the biggest of your worries? The fishing association? No, not with you around. I won't go away until you catch me a boot. You waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety wimp. I'm a fisherman. I once solved Gilligan's cube by just waiting until all the colors had faded. Was that a challenge? No, it was a demand for unconditional surrender. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree. I have never, ever given up. Yeah, we'll see. Your feet will rot before I lose my patience. Is this really necessary, Rufus? You stay out of this! It's important! Oh, good grief. Come on, Rufus. I'm cold. Never! Please, Rufus, I'm cold. Let's go. Did you hear that? The girl's cold. Nice try, buddy. Rufus, I'm freezing to death. Holy mackerel, you take care of the girl already? She's wearing nothing but PJs. Tragic, isn't it? Please. Okay, okay. I give up. I can't bear to see her suffer. Here's your stupid boot. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> you see, Gull? I won! A worn-out boot! Impressive, huh? My hero. <laughs> Rufus, have fire! <gasps> what?
What's better than a mountain of tires? Right, a mountain of burning tires. <laughs> I think I might have something for you to eat. Really? Wow, I don't know what to say. No, 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 not so fast. I want to suggest a trade. I'll give you the food, and you give me your umbrella. Uh, I don't know. It's the only thing I still own. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Yummy food. Oh, all right. Agreed. Hey, wait a minute. That's just a broken shoe. Exactly. The appropriate food for a tramp like you. What? But, but that's... No, no, no. Thank me later. Bon appetit. What's that supposed to be? Um, nothing. I want to teach the baby dolphins a couple of tricks. You want to do what? Oh, did I say teach? Show. Of course I meant show. I want to show them a couple of tricks to cheer them up. I don't want them to end up depressed like their parents. If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. The nice lady didn't say that. Once she sees how great you are, at jumping through the burning hoops, she'll be blown away. So let's go. Allie, you. Hmm, they still need a little incentive. Yes, that's the way I can teach the dolphins the hoop trick. Oh boy, Tony will be so impressed. I can hardly wait to show her who's the real dolphin trainer around here. Here, fishy, fishy. On the other hand, Tony seems to be really busy right now. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty. Look what yummies I have here. Soon, we will see why the food bowl is outside. Although the cat is locked up inside. It can't be both inside and not inside at the same time. Unless, of course, unless, of course, this is a Schrodinger cat. Quantum mechanical zombies. Not really dead. Not really alive. Take cover, goal. What? I just unleashed the overwhelming force of wave particle dualism. <laughs> What's wrong? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just solved the greatest mystery of quantum mechanics. There's a cat flap. Finally. Did I miss anything? Hmm. Do you still remember how I protected you from that dragon? Uh, let me put that another way. Did I miss anything that didn't happen just inside your head? Huh? Where else? Hey, Gaul. Everything okay? Well, one third of my mind has fled. The Organon is occupying the floating black market. And if we don't do something soon, Ulysses will blow up the planet right under our feet. I told you this would be fun. I thought you were just bragging. Can you fit through the cat flap? <laughs> You're too fat, aren't you? 
Hey, that, that's all muscle. Wanna touch it? Ugh, no thanks. I don't want to catch woblitis. Nothing's wobbling. The light is just bad. Step aside, Bubba. I'll show you how it's done. Impressed? Uh, I don't know. Can you do it again? I was uh, <laughs> a little distracted. Forget it. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Fantastic. But that is really the last time I help Mother Nature iron out the wrinkles in her design problems. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? Oh, my goodness. Come on, join in. Um, hip hop hooray? Hey, don't overdo it. You're a stinking bum, not a junk ball pro. Ah, yes, I, I almost forgot. Can you tell me a few things about Portofisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. Isn't Porta Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension Station. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high boats. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows? Maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Portofisco. Then all of Portofisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Uh, pardon me? Uh, it's uh, boring, I think. Uh, I can't say I found this story all that boring. Okay, let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. Uh, Portofisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> Very funny. You don't exactly smell of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchidelias are. So keep it cool, okay? You didn't happen to see a submersible go by here. No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Wait a minute! You don't have a winter home! That was sarcasm! <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. Yeah, okay. No more sarcasm, all right? Bums, don't use sarcasm. Smell you later. And remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. B -b -b baby Goal! Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're into squalor. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Says the woman with brain damage.
On we go. I'll follow you anywhere. Yo, my brother. Um, yo, yo. Ah, yeah, that's, that's good. You're learning. But one yo is enough. Y you're not in a gang or anything. We could practice a little freestyling. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this. Oom, a two. Oom, oom, a two. Oom, a two. And now, you. Oom, a two. Oom, oom, a two. Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove, yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied, he's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus! Yeah, yeah, Rufus! Hey, 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 what? What, huh? What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song, you bum. Your umbrella doesn't work. Of course not. You broke it yourself. That's not what I mean. You said it was a lightning magnet. Well, it worked great for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I get it. Oh, you're just a real lucky ducky. But why doesn't it work for me? Why would you want to be struck by lightning? Not me, my girlfriend! Hmm. Uh, of course, that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> Smell you later, and remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. I see that you have more questions. Ha! <laughs> totally wrong. But. Since we're here, can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Ah, oh, fortune teller. Wow. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg. Next year already? So... It is written, it's because of the head. Heralds need to breathe too. Oh, there he is. Hey, what were you two talking about? Nothing. Let us begin. So, what do you want? And, uh... What are this week's lottery numbers? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. This is couples counseling. I only answer question relating to your partnership. Oh yeah, let me rephrase that. Will we find Donna Goal in time? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. How do I prevent Goal from marrying Cletus? What? You aren't a couple? But let me rephrase that. 
Are we gonna survive all this? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. What will happen to Deponia? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. But let me rephrase that. What does our future together look like? Tricky. I should ask the bowl. I see. That you still have a long, difficult path before you. Before us? Don't you mean behind us? Are you holding the ball the right way around? Um, I think so. At any rate, there is an arrow on the bottom. This side up, it says here. Oh, wow, Rufus. So there's still a long road ahead of us. That's great, as long as we're together. Ah, this is all humbug. You're holding the ball upside down. I'm afraid not. Here, you are welcome to take a look for yourself. Where have you dragged me to this time? And who's that with the pipe? That's the seer. Seer? Um, him, actually. Oh, I sense a new aura. And you're about to sense a whole lot of pain. I'm not interested in listening to some esoteric, heavy dippy nonsense. It's more like couples counseling. Like what? Come on, it'll be fun. And I was about to ask a new question. What does the future hold for our health? I see... Oh my goodness! That is terrible! How can anyone survive that? What? What do you see? <sighs> you don't want to know. Believe me, I must urgently advise you to stay as far away from each other as possible. This is humbug! Let's get out of here. No, j j just a minute. Where will we grow old together? On Elysium? Well, that should be simple to answer. I see. Huh? What's wrong? The ball suddenly went dark. Very strange. This guy is starting to drive me crazy! May I slap him? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. But, uh, hold off on that for a sec. Will we be rich? Lottery winner rich? This is a twig, huh? Well, all right. I'll see if I can perceive anything in the ball. I see... That you will be rich. Oh yeah, I knew it! Rich in experience. Provided you survive all this. That's enough. I can't take any more of this. What? How about now? We want to hear lottery numbers. Otherwise, I'll tell you what I can read from entrails. Oh! Wait a moment, I haven't said everything yet! The ball isn't telling me the numbers, but it says they are written in the stars. That is bound to help you. Please, don't hit me! Huh, if this tip doesn't pay off, you'll be seeing stars. I promise you that. The guru said the lottery numbers were in the stars. I wonder what he meant by that. Ah, oh, maybe he meant that.
Guru was right after all. Now I'm almost sorry about what I scribbled on his diploma in the ante room. Playing the lottery has nothing to do with luck, only with threatening a seer with physical violence. <laughs> Bingo! Hey you! I want to pick up my winnings! I... Oh, oh thanks. It worked. <laughs> the good old banana in the exhaust trick. I should be able to siphon off some diesel with that. Uh, yum! <coughs> Tasty. Now I need to hurry and find a proper container. It's all running into the sea. That is probably the most boring container for transporting diesel that I could come up with. But it's better than nothing. The perfect spot for my jacuzzi. Oh, great. Only oily water comes out of the tap. Just what I needed. An island in the middle of the sea. There, the tank is full again. Time for a little turbine action. The air freshener tree smells of willow. Ah, oh, what the heck. You should never open an umbrella in a thunderstorm. Hey, Gold. Everything okay? Not really. I'm afraid of thunder. I'm here. All is well. 
Can you stand in the waiting pool again? Of course. And now? Wait for it. If my plan works, then you should soon see <laughs> the light. <laughs> because you'll be hit by lightning. <gasps> what? Uh, don't move. I'll be right back. How nice. You are a real friend. Yeah, wait. Don't talk. And now? Wait for it. If my plan works, then you should soon see <laughs> the light. <laughs> because you'll be hit by lightning. <gasps> what? Here, you'll need this. Wow, we won the lottery. What were the odds? About as high as being struck by lightning. So lucky. It's hard to believe. Hey, that worked really well. W w what worked well? Aren't you even paying attention while I risk my life here? S -s Sorry, I, I, I must have blinked for a second. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Huh. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polishing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polishing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Hey, what's the big idea? You're supposed to... At least the dolphins seem to like it. And I said I know something about intelligent comedy. <laughs> Here, fishy fishy! What was that? What do you think? I'm freeing the poor fish from your tyranny. Those aren't fish. They're highly intelligent sea mammals. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, anyone who isn't outside in five seconds stays with Tony. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They really are highly intelligent. Every trained sea mammal that is ready to fire torpedoes at my fleeing girlfriend, raise your fin! Make Daddy proud!
The torpedo dolphins are ready, and I know the position of the submersible. So that's it then. Let the hunt begin! I just have to send a single dolphin to the grid square where the submersible is, and then...
Chop chop! Slap! Help! What? No! Damn it! Do you think the fact that I used torpedoes to cause a part of her to capsize might negatively affect my chances with gold? Normally one would assume that, yes. After all, half of her is a third of your girlfriend, or whatever you might call your relationship. We probably need to invent a new term for it. <laughs> a dramedy of errors. It fits! What are you planning to do? I'm going down there now. Maybe there's a back door. In a submersible? Sounds rather illogical. Yeah, but as I'm sure you know, the laws of logic have no effect underwater. Uh, no, that's not true. Now stop this underwater claptrap and just lower me down, okay? All right. It's your neck. I'm not jumping in there without equipment. I hate picking glass splinters out of my hair. That spoiled my last three trips to the Hall of Mirrors. Okay, I have a plan. Are you sure the word plan means what you think it does? From what I've seen, it could just as well mean hangover, epileptic fit, or pebble in your shoe. Just trust me, the dolphins absolutely want a target. Presenting <laughs> Ray Coulson, the, in the broadest sense of the term, human target. I take back everything I ever said about you, because you scare me. A lousy candle? With this Stone Age equipment, I ought to be glad the others don't have to row. There's just some residue left in there. Really? What happened to the sealant I mixed in there? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I've eaten worse. The pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the candle. I mean, melt. Finally. Next time, you might want to tell me when you're going to switch my mind. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> this will be fun. Yes? Hello? Hmm. Very funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I must definitely do that again right away. What? Rufus? Was that you? Rufus! Blasted idiot. Next time, I'll toss him overboard. <laughs> it gets funnier every time. 
once again with Kili. What? <sighs> Why don't you just cut off the bell? Because I am planning to cut something entirely different off of the immature idiot. That's not a bad idea either. Ow. Yep, that's the perfect subject for a wax impression. Or a larger-than-life statue at the entrance to the harbor. Time for my stunt double, Ray Coulson. Hey, Bozo, together again at last, raiding the seven seas, just like in the old days. Well, we only met a few days ago. But I already know that all attempts to interrupt you when you're acting like that are futile. So I'll just keep talking like nothing happened and hope you get over it sooner or later. <laughs> good old Bozo. You really haven't changed one bit. Can you please help me lower the dummy? Sure. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really appear to hate you. Yes, but why? It might have something to do with the fact that you transformed their children into canned fish. But that's not true. Oh, I see. You merely helped them jump into the kitchen, where all of a sudden a few cans of tuna appeared, right? Perhaps Yanosh's mom had to make a little room on her shelf for the aquarium. For the aquarium. Exactly, because I would never... Whoa! No matter what you did, they are really pissed off. Are you ready for another dive? All right. It's your neck. Left in the lurch, on the verge of the perch, the search for the submerge was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Gold Spins with torpedo dolphins, and finally Hope Glimpse, I cannot exalt. How extendingly aced, he was dragged to the base, the bell for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent, and if not, I apprehend the forest guys will have to work over time. Rufus, just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. While you were out snorkeling, we were kidnapped by Donna Gold in a surprise attack. I can't leave you alone, not even for a moment. She took Gold with her, as well as the remotes and the cartridges. Nonsense. I've got them right here. Uh, oh, crap. There must be a hole in my coat. I keep losing stuff. This time you lost more than usual. Cletus was here. He took both goals with him. They're planning to travel to Porto Fisco in Argus's cruiser. Argus is here too? Well, his cruiser is moored alongside that blast tower over there. Criminy! The blast tower! The rebel attack has already started. But that's suicide. You're right, they're completely lost without me. Oh, Rufus, you really don't know when it's time to give up. Of course I know that. And it starts with N, right?
Oh, genetic fusion is irreversible. You gotta be kidding me. Get out! Now! Uh, why didn't I pack my animal trainer hat? At last, I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah, you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned off due to fighting. Do you often have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you. Still, it seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about it? It's Rufus. He's trying to stop me. Rufus? Persistent little fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just a moment, I left my bag inside. Get on with it! We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm, with your bag or without! Cletus! Here. Huh? Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls. La la la. Could he be fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls. La la la. No, that can't be what it looks like. This is just what it looks like. I'm really messing with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That. That. Ooh. That a boo, that a bee, that a bar, that a bow. Rufus got the groove, yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor! He's actually fiddling with the bomb controls. I've got to stop him.
Hey, there's Donna's remote and the two other cartridges. I'll insert one of them. Hmm, unfortunately, Goal's remote is missing. She must still have it on her. Oh, I'm really getting tired of this stupid implant. Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. Why, that's slimy! And where is Donna Goal? Actually, you are now Donna Goal. Ew! Yeah, Lady Goal has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you can talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I damn well saw it! Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? Ha! <laughs> How typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence. Also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let me show you how I spell knuckle sandwich. Mm, perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies. There are peaceful ways of settling your differences. Like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Ah, Rufus, didn't I tell you to get lost? It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You go take care of Cletus. He's a bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? I'll get you for that! Whoa. I suppose they really should discuss that among themselves. How can you carry on such extended conversations with yourself? I find that a bit disturbing. This. Disturbing. But back to more pressing issues. I must stop Cletus before he... Huh? Cletus? But... Huh? Where did he go? Well then, let's undo the mess that Creep has caused here. That shouldn't be too complicated. After all, he managed to do it. What? What is this now? A countdown? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop! That was a close one. But if that was the countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy's going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So, who's the loser now, huh? You, of course. As always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Deponians. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas, for now. Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you, or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is Goal. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me, I would gladly sacrifice the world just to make a lady smile. The Elders will probably blow the place up anyway. I actually even hope so. But by then... It will no longer be my responsibility. And let's be honest, you wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for gold? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm? <laughs> that shut you up all right, huh?
Hey, you moron. What are you doing? I'm switching the countdown back on. It's a little shorter this time. Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant. Happy to oblige. Is this the switch? Oopsie. I can be such a klutz sometimes. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you already have to leave. You rotten chunk of sewer slime. What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the controls. You had better pray that this works. What are you doing? could almost admire your persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life, without any hope. I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. Too bad that isn't possible, because you've got something that belongs to me. For the last time! Will you give me that accursed remote? Uh, I know. You need the ascension codes, don't you? What are you getting at, smartass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about gall, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak. Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come. The bomb is ticking. Oopsie daisy. No! You crack-brained num nut. <laughs> Uh, Go! Oh, that was just... Wow! Well done! Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him all along. Why did he do that? Uh, doesn't matter now. Help me up! Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to apologize. I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. No, Cletus is the liar, right? Um, well... What is that supposed to mean? Is there something else you want to tell me? Cletus didn't lie to you. 
What are you saying? He didn't start that sequence. I did. You? Does that mean Cletus hasn't betrayed me after all? I knocked him down for no good reason. In a way, yes. But I'm telling you the truth. So that shows I'm the good guy here, right? No, it only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs> As I said before, you don't even want to win. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far, but eventually the cards must always be laid on the table. I've got two queens. And you? Are we playing rummy now? Shh. <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again, Rufus. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? I've still got the other remote! You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over. And the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. <laughs> Her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. More than enough gold for a modest man like me. All you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but gold's mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? <laughs> At least I'm honest. You like that about me, don't you? Yes. Yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Gaul. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals. And the Ascension Codes! We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! It all belongs together! Wait! I... Uh, uh, this is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! Ah! They've stopped shooting! Oh, at last! Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! Oof. Ouch. Rufus! Listen up, everybody! It's Rufus! Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we're alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Goal! Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Goal would surely have found a more dramatic solution. But I found myself cool enough, and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which... We mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? Aren't you going to miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here. She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. Bob. 
By the way, Goal, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. August plan went awry, and then of the story. You have to admit, you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones, and platypuses and memberships to opposing underground organizations, so do unpack the bag. Now it's anyway way too late to sack me, and secondly, where am I gonna stay? Huzzah, asshole, far away.